touching to see so many people that are so willing to give their time up for Girl Scouts. I mean, we can't have any of these programs happen without them. It's the volunteers that make them happen. And they're really the face of what these, this program is trying to bring to the Girl Scouts. When we think of this program, we're going to think of them and how they changed our perspective of what the sciences and the math. And um, this whole day, they're bringing it to us. And I think that's like the greatest gift any volunteer could give. One of the really important things I think is to inspire anybody to get into engineering is to do something more hands-on. If we talk about it, they're not excited. If they do it, they're excited. This is the same as true whether they're five years old or 25 years old. And so that's one thing engineering can do is that we can make everything very hands-on. And so the program that the Girl Scouts, AT&T, and Cal Poly are working together to create is really offering that to the students, um, the young high school kids that are here, to kind of inspire them to think beyond what they've ever thought about. Their future can hold so much more. The outreach is, is my niece is, was a Girl Scout and, and, you know, sold cookies and whatnot. And I think that the outreach is there and definitely giving us an opportunity to participate in volunteer programs so that others can see that this is their story, mm -hmm. that they have an opportunity, no matter what they end up doing. But I think, I think we're an inspiration mm -hmm. by just showing up. When adults right. show up and show interest, I think that helps to inspire the young ladies. Right. I love uh, actually volunteering. I've been doing outreach um, for engineering for the last three years. And I saw this as a great opportunity uh, to reach young girls. Girl Scouts is a, is a nationwide uh, organization. And so in order to improve and increase the number of women in engineering, I figured Girl Scouts was the best way to reach the maximum number of girls. So as a staff perspective, we work with a lot of uh, traditional volunteers who are troop leaders, who are parents of our girls. But it's always, um, for me, inspiring to see new volunteers, even if they're all here only for one or two days, because I think our girls need to be exposed to women, not just the normal troop leaders in their troop setting, but women from different backgrounds, women of different color, women from different age groups. So I think in a way that it, um, it's preparing the girls to see what it's like in the real world. Uh, we took part in a Girl Scouts uh, Imagine event training and we learned four modules that we're going to be uh, hosting with the girls. Um, I learned about the food scientists, they called them. I thought mm -hmm. that was really interesting. So in, in the experiments here, they're going to extract the DNA out of a banana. I actually found myself considering that, hmm, maybe I'd want to do that. That <laughs> sounds fun, working with food and still science. But I actually like the experience. It's really cool how there's a lot of women like they're strong and they have overcome a lot of things. And like how people would say that they weren't able to become an engineer just because they're women or because of their race or ethnicity. And like to meet that lady that like spoke up and said that she's a Latina and she's an engineer and people told her she couldn't do it and she's now here and making like all this money and all this change and difference and it's inspiring. Yeah, I like I like both of the um, both of the uh, little events that we've been into in this, both sessions. The first one with the circuit and the um, the lab and the lab. I thought the yeah. lab was the best. Yeah, um, the lab was the best. What did you do in the lab? We had to uh, grab a banana and what is the extract the DNA of a uh, banana and make our own vinaigrette. Yes, you have to have a heart of giving of yourself and your time. I'm not being paid to do this. I love doing this. To inspire youngsters to go forth because this is our world. Whatever I can to, to, to in, encourage a young lady to go forth so I can keep living in a good world, I'm gonna do that. I learned a lot more than I did before, uh, specifically about other majors. Um, I'm, I'm an engineer, a civil engineer, so learning about the chemistry and the DNA of, of, of food products and cosmetic products was a whole new avenue I just didn't research before. And uh, this module got me excited to actually volunteer. So I'm actually pretty excited, I'm gonna spread the word.